What's up guys? Do you view Tesla as just a car company? I'm gonna show you a couple interviews with Leonardo DiCaprio and Elon and how many gigafactories it would take to supply the entire planet with sustainable energy. And it's really exciting to think about the possibility and how he makes it clear that it is reasonable to transition the world off fossil fuels and towards renewable energies. And just kind of gives a glimpse that Tesla has a, a good vision for how this is possible and is kind of setting up the plans to be, to supply the world uh, with sustainable energy going into the 2030s. Now let's take a look at this clip between Leo and Elon. I mean, the fossil fuel industry is the biggest industry in the world. They have more money and more influence. We actually did the calculations to say, like, what would it take to transition the whole world to uh, its sustainable energy? What kind of throughput would you actually need? Um, and you need 100 gigafactories. So 100 of these. 100 of these, yes. That would make the United States... No, the, the whole world. The whole world. The whole world. All energy. That's it? Yeah. I think I've... That face is Leo realizing that he might be a Tesla investor. Especially if you're an investor, say, on the side and you're just looking at uh, Tesla as just an overvalued automotive company. In this video, it's really clear how they have way bigger plans to be a massive energy company uh, supplemented with the automotive side and transitioning the world towards electric transportation and then also going green on the solar and then the battery storage. That sounds... That it's it's sound manageable. Like, that sounds manageable. It does sound reasonable, and to look at Leo's face at the end of that, it's like, wow, this company is a lot different than what I was expecting. And I don't expect Tesla to be the only company doing this, but as of now, they're definitely the leader. And as we go into the future and they keep uh, announcing more gigafactories, I don't think it's gonna happen within a couple years, but over the next 10, 15, 20 years, I expect to see uh, gigafactories in almost every continent around the world besides Antarctica and their future is super bright. This year, 2023, I think is going to be the first big year of ramping towards battery storage with the uh, Lathrop factory uh, producing megapacks. Right now they're producing 25 megapacks per day, selling close to $2 million each. You do that math, it's almost $20 billion a year at only 40 gigawatts. 40 gigawatts of energy produced per year. They're 40 gigawatt hours. They're trying to get to three terawatts, which is almost a close to 100 times from here in their energy side. So I'm super, super bullish on Tesla energy. I also think as technology gets better and they get better at manufacturing, it could be 50 gigafactories. Right now they have China, they have Nevada, they have Austin, Berlin. So they have, you know, they're only, you know, 20% of the way there. I think it could be closer to 50 gigafactories. They're looking to announce another one in Texas or in Mexico soon. So I think if they start to announce a new gigafactory every single year, and as technology gets better and better, their battery technology, they could be the main supplier for sustainable energy for the whole planet. Imagine Tesla being the biggest energy company. Most people right now are only viewing them as a car company. Um, I view them as much more than that as a technology company, a battery company, also an AI company. So looking into the future, it's just, it's super cool and the way that they're just transitioning the whole world to sustainability. People didn't think EVs would have been mainstream. Now they're pretty much, it's going to be all EV sold going into the 2030s. This is super exciting because a hundred gigafactories can sustain the whole, uh, give the whole world sustainable energy. And I think in a few years, as technology keeps getting better and better, it won't even be referred to as a gigafactory. It'll be referred to as maybe a terafactory and the amount of uh, batteries that they're producing per year. Um, if they can start deploying a lot more solar and then also making more mega packs, Tesla could be the number one energy company in the world. And it looks like Elon really sees it as a possibility and we won't need to really depend on oil and gas as much and just change that percentage. Right now, it's such a high percentage of the world is dependent on, on oil. And you can see with the war in Ukraine, uh, Europe's depending on Russia for oil. So if each country can have uh, different ways of um, 
using solar into battery packs and then they can distribute it. It makes it a really exciting time. Um, I predict in the future that they can have these factories in South America, in Australia, in different parts of Asia, the Middle East, and then also in Europe. And just as a Tesla investor, I'm super excited because you know I, I think most people are pretty much just valuing them as a automotive company. So I can't even imagine when they're one of the, the main suppliers for electricity for the entire planet. Just the potential for this company is just unbelievable. This next clip that I'm about to show, uh, Elon talks about how much land is needed in the United States of a solar farm. It's about 100 miles by 100 miles, which is 10,000 square miles, which is there's 3.6 million square miles in the United States. So just listen to this clip. Like it actually doesn't take much. If, if, you, if you wanted to power the entire United States with solar panels, um, it would take um, a, put, a fairly small corner of Nevada, Texas, Utah, anywhere. Uh, look, you, put, it's, it, you only need about 100 miles by 100 miles of solar panels to power the entire United States. What 100 miles by 100 miles looks like is like you know, a little square on the U.S. map. Uh, How much land is needed with solar to supply the United States with energy? It's such a small percentage of the total land mass of America. The, the batteries you need to store that energy to make sure you have 24 seven um, uh, power is one mile by one mile. The one, one square mile, <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. And also it's only a, it's 1% is needed of that land for solar is needed in battery packs to store the solar energy. Elon really sees it as possible. He's done the math of how much land is needed. You, so you deploy that solar panels around the country in little different pockets, 100 miles by 100 mile and for solar, and then one mile by one mile for uh, battery packs. Um, 10,000 square miles, it's insanely small area when you look at the size of the United States. You could deploy this in all uh, a lot of countries around the world. Um, I think uh, Chile would be really good, or even parts of Argentina. Um, you could do this in the Middle East. You could do this in different parts of Africa. Australia has tons of open land for this. And just really just changing the world from relying on fossil fuels to going towards sustainable energy is just so exciting. And you can see that Elon really has like a plan and really sees how possible this is. And he's just jumping on the opportunity to transition the world towards sustainable energy. If you've been following Tesla for a long time, you're probably aware of Elon's master plans. He had master plan part one in 2006 or 2007, and then master plan part two. He's pretty much hit on every single goal that he's set. And I think in master plan part three, they're really gonna talk about how to supply the entire world with solar and then store that energy in their mega packs. And I think this is going to be the start of Tesla energy expanding to just as big, if not bigger than the automotive side of the company. That's why I, I see Tesla within the next 10 years to be by far the largest company in the world. They're going, they want to produce 20 million cars per year and also supply the entire planet with energy and, and not even to mention a robo taxi fleet with their full self driving. You have, you know, people don't have to drive anywhere more. And then also having uh, fully sustainable energy supplied by solar and then being deployed by their um, battery packs. is just, it's so exciting if you're a Tesla investor and if you're looking to be a Tesla investor, um, I, if you've been just looking at it as a car company, I hope this kind of gives you a little glimpse into why it's so much bigger. And we're just at the start of this company. I believe that this is similar to Apple in like 2007. That's how early this company is in its stages of growth. I really see it's grow. I mean, right now they just opened up a, um, a mega pack plant at 40 uh, gigawatt hours uh, per year of mega packs for battery storage. They want to advance that to about a terawatt hour per year. That's right there is close to uh, 50 times uh, or 20 times from where we are now, if not more than 20 times. So it's just 
super exciting time for Tesla. And right now it's just crashing. They're talking about Twitter being, you know, it's crashing because of Twitter, which just shows it has nothing to do with the fundamentals of the actual company. Uh, right now, I'm trying to buy with every spare cent that I have. It's, yeah, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you see another opportunity out there that has much uh, as great of a vision that Elon has for the future, um, if you're skeptical, um, just look at what he did with, um, with SpaceX and renewable rockets. Most people back in the day would have thought NASA had the greatest engineers in the world. He did what NASA couldn't even do. So if you think that GM or Ford or some energy company is just going to overtake Tesla, I mean, you would have thought NASA could have done what SpaceX is doing. They can't. They have the best engineers in the world. I don't think the, the competition is even close in the automotive side or the energy side. The thing that's really going to make a difference is if companies that are much bigger than Tesla do the same thing. If the big industrial companies in China and the US and, and Europe, the big car companies, if they also do this, then collectively we can accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. I'm Sean, and this is the Tesla Hyper Bowl. Thank you for watching. Wow, holy crap, that's a good robot. Whoa.